All right, guys, welcome back for the silicone um, version. You'll notice that I have the head and the upper body of this silicone baby I'm working on covered. And that's because she is um, a private request for a baby. And I don't, um, I don't photograph those and publish those for the public. Um, that's a, a private sale. In some cases, these are portrait babies made to look like uh, a grandchild or something like that, or in, in some cases, it's a memorial baby. Uh, so I won't be showing the entirety of the baby, but I'm just going to be showing you the limbs. All right, so we can see this is a silicone baby. She has not been matted yet, so that's why she's all shiny and, and greased up. Okay, she's still in progress, so um, that's why she's, she's a little bit glistening. All right, so this is a silicone limb. I can bend this any way that I want to. She does not have armatures, which means she doesn't have um, wire bits that go down into her arms and legs, which if she did, it would give the ability to pose this leg and it wouldn't move. But as you can see, it won't hold that shape, right? So this is how much give you get when you press into a silicone baby, okay? You can also pinch that skin. You can't do that on a on a vinyl baby. Okay. They're also jiggly. So you can see this is, I always like to say it's kind of like a slightly warm Twizzler or even like a gummy bear has that kind of consistency. The thing about silicone babies is they do require a lot of careful care. I mean, they cost a lot of money and you don't want to invest that kind of money in a baby like this and then have um, issues with it because you didn't know how to care for it properly or, or something like that. So basically what you want to do is be aware when you're choosing. Now, I love both mediums. I love silicone babies and I love vinyl babies. But I'd, I'd like for people to know the difference before they make the investment. So silicone babies... You can submerge a full body silicone. Now this baby is full body, which means she is one piece of silicone. Okay, so she can be submerged in water. She can be actually bathed, which is a big selling point for a lot of people. They want to be able to put their baby in the water. So this baby would be able to do that. A cloth body silicone, which would be the body would be cloth and then it would just be put together just like the um, vinyl baby that you just saw. So that is going to be different. You cannot submerge uh, any baby that has any cloth. You cannot submerge them in water because what's going to happen is you're going to ruin the doll. Every component that's inside the cloth is going to get wet. It's going to stay damp. It's going to mildew. It's going to get all kinds of germs and bacteria in there and it could make you or someone who handles the baby very, very sick. So if you want a baby that you can put in the water and you plan to bathe it a lot and you want it to be submersible, submersible, then this is what you want. You want a full body silicone baby. Okay, if you are looking for a baby that is low maintenance, looks very real, is weighted, feels very real, then you're going to be looking at either a silicone or a vinyl. I prefer vinyl babies myself for my own collection just because I don't have to care for them as much and they don't get lint and stuff stuck to them. These silicone babies are kind of like little magnets, like they suck in the if you have pets they'll suck in hair if you have a husband they'll suck in hair if you have you know any lint just think of it as a big magnet and so you're gonna consistently have to continue to wipe the baby down and keep the baby very clean so if that doesn't bother you then absolutely go for the silicone they are beautiful they're gorgeous collectibles you know i, I love doing them i'm constantly trying to deepen my skill levels you know and get better at what I do. So, um, when there are good sculpts, good meaning they are very detailed and, you know, they're sculpted by, by people I know in the industry, then I'll offer those as customs. But generally they're, they're slow to come around just because the, the sculpts, I guess, I just don't want to put a lot of my energy into a sculpt that doesn't already look breathtakingly real before I get out my paintbrush. I want the sculpt to be able to do a lot of the work before I start to add the detail because to me, 
particularly with a, a silicone and also with a vinyl, but particularly with a silicone, just because the price is so astronomically high for these babies. I want to see the wrinkles. I want to see the puckers of skin. I want to see all those things that, that make a baby squishy. And I want to be able to see that on the blank baby. And I want to get that sensation that that's a realistic looking blank baby before I even get out my paintbrush and start to work on it. So I feel like, um, that's an important thing. So if you'd like to have a silicone baby made, you can uh, get on the waiting list. The waiting list is going to go up later this weekend on the website, www.bettyjkaufman.com. Uh, so you can take advantage of that. And then I can send out a newsletter and let you know when there are, are sculpts that you can customize. Um, and until then, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.